Hi guys, this is Naima and welcome to Foxy. Today I'm going to do something super cool, which is beauty hacks. The most commonly asked questions is how to make your kajal last longer and how to make your lipstick last longer. So let's get started. So I'm using definitely black kajal from MAC. And I'm going to use the Inglot Gel Eyeliner. So this is one simple step. So how you apply your regular kajal. I'm literally going to take my kajal pencil and dip it into the gel liner like this. So the hack here is that using gel eyeliner on your kajal pencil is what will make it last longer because usually gel eyeliner has the staying power that's why I'm using this. This is something that I swear by that I've been using over the years on myself or whether I'm, I'm at work and trust me it works. So this is how simple it is and trust me this is completely waterproof. I use it for all the brides who are going to cry on their wedding day and this is a complete 100% beauty hack. You can try it and tell me if this worked or not. Now I'm going to move on to the lipstick hack which is how to make your lipstick last longer. So it's really simple. I'm going to start by using Soar. So now I'm going to move on to the lipstick hack that I told you guys about and this is another foolproof hack and trust me it works because again I use it on brides at work, I use it on myself. So usually it's something that's like a 100% effective for like darker shades because that is something when it when you use like reds and dark pinks and those colors tend to bleed. So I'm going to start with using Soar by MAC. which is um, a slightly pinkish nude lip pencil. So usually when you're using a lip liner or a lip pencil, you have to make sure that it's either matching the lipstick that you're going to use eventually or somewhere close to that. It cannot be darker than the color you're using, but definitely slightly lighter or matching. So this is, I'm doing something super basic, super nude, just to show you the hack and this can work with any color that you're using. So I'm going to start with outlining my lips and then I'm going to fill in with the same color. So filling in before applying lipstick is what is going to make your lipstick last longer. Now that I am done with completely filling my lips with the lip pencil and I have created a base for my lipstick, I am I'm using this color from the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte to go over this like you would normally apply lipstick. So this is what I would do to make my lipstick last longer and if you feel like you want to further mattify it, not that this Huda Beauty lipstick actually needs any more mattifying because it like tends, it's already so matte and it like tends to dry out sometimes, I'm going to use this light brown eyeshadow matching the lipstick from my Morphe palette 
with this one. And just slightly dab over. This step is like completely optional. This is just something that is a safer option to use on top of this. Um, you can use blush, um, eyeshadow, loose powder, anything since there are no rules in makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and these hacks were helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to Foxy for more beauty videos. Also, you can follow me on Instagram on Makeup and Hair by Maliha. I'll see you soon. Maliha love. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Lena. How are you guys doing? I hope all of you are doing really well. So guys, I'm always looking for some products which are like herbal, which have like natural ingredients. And I love applying face packs. So I'm here. I'm going to apply this amazing face pack by Mama Earth. So this is their Upton face pack which has saffron, turmeric and apricot oil. So this is what it looks like. So guys, I'm going to try this face pack now. So uh, this is the bottle, looks really nice and Mama Earth products are all natural, uh, they don't use parabens, it's paraben free and you know this has all natural ingredients so I'm going to open it now. So guys this is what it looks like and smells good too. So I'm going to apply this on my face. For this you could use a brush or I'm just going to use my fingertips. So I'm just going to apply it all over my face now. So guys, I've applied the face pack now and I'm going to let it stay for about 10 minutes. So uh, why is this face pack good? It's uh, good for anti-aging skin and it's really good for brightness. So if, you're, you know, if your skin is a bit dull and you're looking for some instant brightness, I think this face pack is really good. So I'm just going to wait for 10 minutes and then I'm going to rinse my face. So let's wait. So guys, it's been almost about 10 minutes now, I'm going to go and wash my face. Remember, you need to wash your face with lukewarm water, so I'm going to do that now. So guys, I've washed my face now and I don't know, my skin is feeling so good and if you can actually see the brightness, I mean, my skin was a bit dull and now it's feeling really, really good. Plus, uh, this is really good for sensitive skin. So if you guys have sensitive skin and you can't apply the other face pack, this one, Mama Earth face pack is really, really good because it's suitable for all types of skin, like oily skin and dry skin too. So go ahead, try this face pack. And if you want to know anything else, any, uh, any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And guys, please don't forget to hit the like button. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Lena. So it's monsoon season now and summer just got over. We were always looking for a waterproof makeup. I know during summer it's so sweaty and your makeup washes off. And during monsoon, because it is pouring outside, your makeup will eventually go off. So today I'm going to share a few waterproof makeup tips with you. So guys, the first thing is foundation. That is what which comes off like really uh, easily. So what you need to do is stop applying your heavy thick foundation and you can move to BB cream. So BB creams are tinted moisturizers uh, which will really absorb into your skin and you know it will not fade off, it won't, it won't wash off so easily. 
So instead of applying foundation, go for BB creams. And the second tip is apply primer. So primer will make sure that your makeup is in place and it won't like go off really easily. So primer is really important if you're looking for waterproof makeup. And the third tip is even if you're using a liner, see it's waterproof. You can either go for like a gel liner, which is good. It won't wash off that easily and it won't smudge also. So gel liner or waterproof liners are really good. And the fourth tip is after you apply your BB cream, make sure that you apply powder to it. It won't uh, really make your makeup uh, wash off that easily, but it will also, you know, make your makeup stay in place. So that's more important. And my last tip is uh, skip uh, powder blushes. You can use tinted brush, uh, blushes, which is really good. Uh, there are a lot of companies which have started like Body Shop, Maybelline. So, you know, it's like a tinted uh, blush. You just apply it onto your skin and dab, dab, dab. So it'll absorb into your skin. Won't really wash off even if you're sweating or if you know if you're out in the rain, it will stay. So these were a few tips on how you can, you know, use these tips for waterproof makeup and you know your makeup will stay in place. So go try it and let me know if you have any more doubts in the comment section below. And if you have any more products that I should try, which is really good, which is waterproof, do let me know. And you know, for more DIYs makeup tips, follow Foxy and I will see you soon, guys. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Lena. How are you guys doing? So finally, monsoon has started. Summer's over, and uh, you know it's pouring like crazy outside. Uh, we all love this season, and but did you know it's really important to take care of your skin during monsoon, and especially this season because there's so much pollution outside, plus the water outside, and you know your skin gets really damaged. And the first thing that we do is we just stop applying sunscreen because it's, uh, you know, it's not even sunny outside, but that's not the case, guys. First and most important thing is you need to apply sunscreen during monsoon as well. And don't think it's gloomy outside, you don't need to apply it. It's very important. And cleansing, toning and moisturizing, these three things are really important. So first, you cleanse your face. Once you come back from office or, you know, from school, college, whatever, cleanse your face really well. Use a nice uh, makeup room remover or you know a nice face wash you know you remove all uh, the makeup or all the oil that has been uh, on your skin so you get rid of that firstly that's really important second thing is toning so use a nice toner because this will really you know help your skin once you've done that use a nice toner just apply it all over your face if you are uh, if you have dry skin like mine Toners are harsh on your skin, so you can apply rose water. That's, that acts like a really good toner. Once After you've done that, moisturizing is the third thing. Uh, use a nice moisturizer according to your skin type, if it's oily, dry, or you know, normal skin, uh, com combination skin. So use a moisturizer which will moisturize your skin and you know, which will not damage your skin because of the monsoon outside. So do that and uh, most important thing is you need to keep your feet really good uh, you know don't let the water stay in your feet you know just keep changing your shoes wear appropriate shoes and take care of your feet uh, put put your feet in like hot water once you come out uh, once you come home from office and this will get rid of all the dirt from your feet and uh, these are a few tips that you need to follow and uh, you know this will help you during monsoon and take care of your skin take care of your health and if you have any any more doubts ask me in the comment section below and for more diys for more skincare tips more makeup follow foxy and i will see you soon guys bye hey guys welcome back this is lena so today i'm going to talk about two major hair removal methods which is waxing and shaving so there's a huge discussion, a lot of people comment about waxing, a lot of people talk about shaving and you know, there's so much misconception and you know, there's so much discussion about this thing. So today I'm going to talk about how waxing is done. So waxing is just, you just take the wax and apply it on your skin and then you remo uh, remove it. and it uh, the hair comes out from your root uh, from your follicle and uh, that is called waxing while shaving shaving exfoliates your skin uh, there's a blade which removes the hair 
and it just cuts the hair from the upper layer doesn't remove it from the roots so uh, waxing is good for people who uh, don't have sensitive skin and you know who can uh, you know take the pain and uh, waxing goes on uh, for about uh, one to two weeks you know your hair doesn't grow that quickly uh, whereas uh, sh while uh, shaving shaving uh, depends on your hair growth it grows quickly in like it could be from two to four days depending on your hair growth now uh, shaving is also good because it exfoliates your skin so all the uh, you know dirt and dust and everything comes out when you are shaving while uh, waxing removes the top layer of your skin sometimes people who have uh, like sensitive skin could get boils and rashes me personally i have started uh, shaving earlier i used to wax my hands but then i've started shaving because i have a lot of uh, chicken skin here this is caused because of waxing so uh, depends actually it depends on people how you want and how your skin type is so i would recommend people who have really sensitive skin go for shaving because it really you know uh, exfoliates your skin and you know you won't have any rashes and you know you won't have any boils etc uh, waxing is good for people who don't have any sensitive skin issues who are lucky you can just go ahead get waxing done but again the problem with waxing is you have to wait for uh, an entire uh, week two weeks to a month uh, to you know for your hair to grow again and then you have to wax while shaving can be done in you know any time any day whenever you feel like little bit there's a little bit hair growth you can just shave you don't have to wait for a particular period of time so uh, these are two uh, main discussions uh, depending on your skin type you all can uh, you know choose either waxing or shaving i personally personally shave my hands because that's what i feel is better and we have all these cool uh, you know shaving thing uh, like we uh, venus has a really good uh, uh, you know exfoliating plus you have the uh, soap kind of thing which has uh, you know you can easily shave and it also makes your skin really really soft so i prefer shaving uh, waxing is also good it removes the top layer so if you have a lot of tan that gets rid of that so that's also good so here are my two ways and i've spoken about you know what is good what is bad whatever works for your skin you all should try it i think you all should try both and whichever is good for you if you can't take the pain then don't do waxing and you know if you uh, your hair growth is not much and you could go ahead and do waxing if you have any other tips or if you have any other questions let me know in the comment section below and also i'm on instagram guys so why don't you follow me there it's called lena gauda official it's my official instagram account follow me there and i will see you next time bye guys hey guys welcome back this is lena so applying mascara makes your eyes really pop especially if you apply it on your lower lashes it looks really really nice but a lot of you find it tricky and you know find it difficult to apply it on your lower lashes and so today i'm going to show you how to apply mascara on your lower lash so let's start Firstly, you need a mascara. The mascara that I'm going to be using today is from Essence. It's called Get Big Lashes, and this is the Volume Boost. So, uh, the first tip for people who want to apply mascara, and if you are like a beginner, uh, use a waterproof mascara. If your, you know, eyes get teary, tear, tears come out from your eyes, it becomes watery. So, uh, a waterproof mascara is good for beginners. and i'm going to show you how to apply mascara first so first thing that you need to do is apply it on your upper lashes so we apply this first so i'm going to start with my upper lash Separate your lashes. Uh, this will make it really clean and neat, and your lashes will look bigger as well. So uh, you can see the difference. It really makes your eyes pop. So I'm going to apply the mascara on this one also. So you can use about two to three coats depending uh, on your uh, this thing, your choice. 
I will just go with this notch coat. I think this is, gives you a nice natural look. So now I'm going to start applying the mascara on my lower lash. So we're just going to remove the wand, remove the excess product because you don't want a dark patch here. So for beginners, uh, y'all can also use like a cotton pad or tissue and place it here so that you know mascara doesn't stick on your under eye. So I'm just going to go ahead. So you just take your mascara wand, place it here and you pull it down pull it downwards uh, this will make your mascara look straight even if you uh, you know put a little bit of product if it's come here don't worry you can always erase it you can use a cotton pad or you know a earbud to remove it so I'm just going to place it here And be very gentle because you might by mistake just poke your eye so just this and just one or two uh, coats that's it now I'm gonna apply it on this one and keep your hand really really loose don't you know just keep brushing your uh, lower lash that's it that's how easy it was and still if you feel that you have a little bit of product uh, around your area I have a very little product here so which I'm going to remove so you can just fold your cotton pad and get it out like that that's it guys this is how easy it was and uh, you can so for starters for beginners please use a waterproof mascara my eyes uh, it doesn't become a lot watery so uh, you know I don't need it so for beginners this is great use a waterproof mascara and you can always use a cotton pad or a earbud and place it here and then you apply your mascara a lot of people have seen uh, using teaspoon also so you can place it uh, you know upside and then you know just uh, apply the mascara it's very simple but practice makes perfect so keep practicing it and uh, be careful don't poke your eyes and if you have any other doubts let me know in the comment section below and on, also I'm on Instagram follow me there it's called Nina Gauda official that's my official account and thank you so much for watching guys bye Hey guys, welcome back. This is Lina. Do not freak out. You must be thinking, why is she wearing this and why is her face looking weird? Uh, guys, I was just about to get ready. It's my friend Sangeet and I just put my base and then I was like, why don't I shoot a video for you guys? So uh, my base is done and I'm going to start with my, uh, you know, eyes and then my brows and the whole makeup. So uh, without wasting any time, because I have to be there by 8 p.m., let's get started. So guys, as I told you, I'm done with my foundation, like my base, I've put my primer, I've applied my foundation. Now I'm going to start with my eyes and for that I'll be using this eyeshadow palette by Eleanor. So there are two shades in this, the dark green and the light green. As I'm wearing green and pink, I wanted to, you know, uh, do the same thing on my eyes. So uh, I'm going to take my eyeshadow brush, I'm going to start with the darker color, the dark green, I'm going to apply it all over my eyelids. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I've added more color on my crease if you can see just dab it in so once I've done that I'm going to be taking the, taking the lighter shade I'm just going to use my fingertip 
I'm going to apply it on the inner corners of my eye. So right here. So if you can see, it will give you that instant brightness. So I just want it on the inner corners of my eyes. So eyeshadow is done now. Now I'll be applying my uh, kajal. So I'll be taking this uh, Lakme Iconic Kajal. I'm going to apply it on my eyelid. So I don't want, want like a perfect liner. I'm going to smudge this. I'm just going to smudge it. So it'll give you like a more smoky, uh, you know, a smudged look. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So once you've done that, take the same eyeshadow, this one, and apply it again on your eyelids because you want your eyes to, you know, get that shine. So I'm going to apply it again, only on the inner corner. I'm going to take the same shade and I'm going to apply it on the lower line. I'm just going to take the same thing. Once that's done, let's let's apply some mascara. And the mascara I'll be using today is by Lakme Absolute. guys once that's done let's move on to my brows and for that I'll be using my favorite benefit browsing Done with my brows now. I'm just gonna apply some blush and then a highlighter. So the blush that I'll be using is from NARS, and this is the shade which I'll be using. It also has a little bit of like shimmer to it, so which is really nice, which will complement my outfit. So once I'm done that, moving on to the highlighter. So I'll be using the same eyeshadow, which is this one, very little. I'll just highlight this part.
uh, for lipstick I'll be using this pink shade which is by Miss Claire and it's called 05 the number 05 set this for makeup with a uh, urban decay all nighter so this is done i'm going to uh, do some finishing touches just wear my jewelry and put on some bindi and show you my entire look now so guys this is my complete look i hope you guys liked it and you know it's simple it's elegant and you know i'm going to have a blast in my friend sangeet and comment below and let me know if you like this look and also if you are going to try it and i'm on instagram go follow me there it's called lena gauda official and for foxy it's foxy makeup tips and i will see you soon guys all set to dance bye Hi guys, this is Naima and welcome to Foxy. Today I'm going to show you something super cool, which is something that I have learned over the years. I'm going to be using this cheek tint called Benetint. I'm using this one product to do an entire face. That the no makeup look actually comes from a place which is makeup that looks like skin. I mean, like I know we as artists or the ones who love makeup. created very differently and that's okay cuz that's the version that people like to follow but this is something that i do do once in a while for myself or at work especially if i'm doing like a shoot and we need to keep it super minimal so i'm using this on my eyes cheeks and lips just to create like a literally nothing but trust me you'll be able to tell what i'm talking about so let's get started so i'm going to take this cheek tint onto my eyelids like applying it like eye shadow you can just directly apply it or on your finger and then see do you see what i see there's actually so much product but it looks like super minimal the whole point is for it to look like skin to get like naturally rosy looking cheeks that's what i'm going to do next so i'm going to take this cheek tint onto a buffer brush kind of just apply it onto the apples of my cheek advisable to do it before you've applied any loose powder or compact Did you know that back in the day people used lipstick like blush and I think that's where this whole concept of the whole cheek tint originated from like people who just like pull out their lipstick and rub some of it on their finger and just like dab it onto their cheeks to get like rosy cheeks and that's kind of what I'm trying to create here though this is a lip and a cheek tint but I've applied some of it on my eyes I'm just trying to This is just something that you do to bring out this natural pink from your skin. And trust me, this could be like SOS. It's like you're out and you get called in for a meeting and you feel like you're looking like shit and you pull out like this cheek tint and you follow these three easy steps and you're sorted. And lastly, I'm going to apply this onto my lip. This is literally something that a tinted moisturizer would do for you. So there you go. If you know what I'm talking about, you'll be able to tell the difference. I have created this super minimal no makeup, original no makeup look that looks like skin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video cuz I had a lot of fun shooting this one. For more beauty related videos, please subscribe to Foxy. You can follow me on Instagram on makeup and hair by Maliha. I'll see you soon, Maliha love. Hey guys, uh guess what? I woke up late today and I have to be somewhere and I'm really late so I thought I'll do like a quick office look for you guys. So I'm going to do this while I'm talking and we don't have much time and you all can do this if you are getting late too. So uh, let's start with the video. We cannot waste time now. 
so of course uh, sunscreen is really important so i'm going to mix sunscreen and my uh, foundation together and then apply so the foundation i'll be using today is maybelline super stay and the neutrogena sunblock so this will act like a bb cream and you don't have to apply this separately so mix this up real quick and apply it on your face Once you've done that, just take the foundation and apply it under the eyes so that you know you uh, it'll act like a concealer. And you can apply it on your dark spots as well. And I have one here. So I've applied the sunscreen and the foundation both. Now I'm going to take this Nykaa lip kit or the Nykaa lip palette and it has six beautiful shades. So this is really essential if you go to office, you know, you have all the lipstick in one uh, small box. So you don't have to, you know, carry a lot of lipsticks. So what I'm going to do is uh, take the shade which is really light this one. I'm going to apply it on my eyelids. So I'm not carrying a lot of products, I'm just using whatever I have, like just 2-3 products, you can just keep it in your bag and do it on the go. I'm going to do the same on this eyelid. That's it. Now I'm going to take the same shade and apply it on my cheek. same lipstick and I'm going to apply it on my lips. So almost 80% of my makeup is done. I'm just going to do uh, my brows and then apply some um, mascara. So I'm going to do my brows with this, this is the Benefit Browsing. This is my go-to product. I always have this in my bag. And it's really quick and easy to apply. So I'm just filling in the brows. So done with my brows, the last step is to apply mascara. So I'm going to be applying the Essence uh, Get Big Lashes. So you all can also apply Kajal uh, or you know just apply mascara but if you apply Kajal it might not stay the whole day, it, it might smudge. So I'm just going ahead with the mascara. see that instant lift do the same here so guys once I've applied my makeup I want to stay all day long so I'm going to be applying this by MAC it's the mineralizer which will help my makeup stay for long So guys, this was my really, really quick and easy makeup and you know, y'all can do it on the go, in the train, while traveling. I used to do my makeup a lot of times in the train and you know, it's been, it has to be like really quick and simple. So go ahead, try it and if you have any more tips and tricks, let me know in the comment section below and follow me on Instagram. My account is Lena Gauda Official and for Foxy, it's Foxy Makeup Tips and I will see you soon guys. Bye.